Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how we can do drill down reporting using interactive report. So first of all, uh, create a new page with interactive report. Provide the name of uh, this page. Interactive report and then select the table and this is the projects table create page run uh, your page by clicking on green play icon so here you can see this is our uh, interactive report so let's uh, create a filter or we can say we uh, are going to format highlight and select highlight style is yellow or uh, this one and then text color is same and select the highlight condition is budget and budget is less than equal to 100 so actually i want to highlight all the rows uh, for the projects whose value is less than equal to 100 we can say this is low budget projects okay select apply so this all these projects or we can say uh, these projects are low budget projects so save your report save and as default report settings it's a primary report or alternative it's alternative and name it as low budget projects apply here you will see we have two reports first one is primary report and in primary report this filter is applied and for low budget projects this filter also applied but for primary report I don't want uh, this filter so I am removing this filter and save uh, report again save report as a default and primary apply okay. so this is our we can say default report or primary report but low budget uh, projects report is a customized report okay so now I want to call these two reports from my another page so this is basically drill down reporting so let's uh, create another page in your application its page number is 21 or 21 for interactive reports so let's create another page you can create your page from this plus icon and here we have interactive report again and it's drill down reporting and table is projects create your page and this is the report change its security so I need a project and then I need status I don't need these two status and then we need its cost remove budget okay so I need four columns only for this report first one is project remove ID also so first first column is project 
then we have status and then cost so for status I need to uh, take uh, sum for open uh, status and closed status so that I can see how many uh, tasks of this project is in open state and uh, how many tasks are in closed status okay so for that I need to do sum of status and this one then I need to decode status if status is in open state then we have one otherwise zero okay copy uh, this code paste it here and when it is in closed state and name it as open and name it as closed and then we have cost for cost I need to do sum of cost and here and then apply real its its value is null then it's zero okay so it is uh, we can say total cost okay validate your query so what's wrong with this query status decode status open one zero and okay we need to provide one closing bracket here okay validate your query uh, okay now we need to group by project and revalidate it's okay okay save now our report is ready and in our report we have uh, these four columns for project change it to link and for link I want to move uh, from when I click on this project I want to move on page interactive report which is page number 21 we design basically this on this page okay and for value I want to pass when I click on the project I want to pass the value of the project to project column or we can say uh, I want to apply a filter on this primary report basically what it does it will pass the value of the project to primary report and apply the filter uh, based on the project column where name uh, would be equal to this value so uh, here the syntax of uh, passing uh, value from this page to uh, this page is first of all for interactive reports you need to type IR then name of the column project okay and okay run your project so you can see now project is uh, your link column so uh, first of all for example I click on discussion forum so here you can see uh, on our primary report uh, this filter applied where project name is equal to a discussion forum and here we have all the tasks related to this project now move back 
and now this time click on email integration project so here you can see uh, we have active filter is email integration but it is also showing project equal to discussion forum so if I want to remove uh, this uh, uh, project equal to discussion forum filter what I need to do I will need to uh, set clear regions okay and then run your report again so now this time I am going with discussion forum project then move back and load patched apps so you uh, can see your uh, application uh, uh, is now working and we are applying the filter at runtime on our primary report but in uh, uh, lower versions uh, like uh, 17 18 and below uh, what you need you need to provide the value RR so that it your project will be compatible with uh, lower versions of Oracle Apex what it it does basically it does resets an interactive report and pagination okay so if you uh, see uh, the URL uh, of this report you will see the values RR CR and RP in your uh, URL we will uh, see it so you uh, need to provide RR okay then for open uh, uh, projects what it does change your column to link and provide the name of the project and value for value you need to provide the name of the column and then uh, open and name of IR underscore status so and value uh, would be open okay so what it will uh, do it will apply the filter uh, project equal to project name and status equal to open and then again uh, clear your regions and set its value RR okay and need to provide the project which is 21 uh, sorry project uh, page name which is 21 okay similarly for closed we need to shift it to link and here we have link page 21 and then we have values uh, project and then its value is project and then uh, we have status and this time status would be closed and clear regions RR in capital OK run your project so here you can see when I click on uh, for example software project tracking project and status is open and for open status I am setting two values you can see here for open for link I am applying two filters project and so click on it so here you can see uh, your project is this and status is equal to open okay so in this way I am applying the filter at runtime but when I go back and this time I want to see the report with closed status click on your closed uh, value which is 4 
and here you can see here we have four values and uh, two filters applied at runtime on our primary report so the in this way you can uh, drill down to your reports and apply filters at runtime so what if I want uh, to apply the filters on low budget projects or I want to call this report so the this is possible we can call this report and we will cover this in our next next lecture the next thing which uh, is uh, you must know we are basically uh, 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 linking uh, our uh, pages uh, this way but at backend when you search your uh, for example pro check search your you can uh, search your page by clicking on search and then internally what uh, apex does it is creating a link like this for open and closed projects so for example I have question mark this 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 and then you can see we have CR RR CR RR so what basically it is doing uh, it is uh, as I told you in my previous lecture uh, where we were uh, setting the URL in that case this option after debug we have clear cache options so in clear cache options we are passing CR and RR CR basically what it does it clears interactive report and resets uh, pagination so internally apex adding these two options and then we have ir underscore project ir underscore status basically uh, these are columns or we can say page items and then uh, we are passing the values and in static context if you want to refer column value of interactive report you use uh, hash notation for the column so uh, in this way we are basically moving from one page and setting values of the filters or columns uh, from this to uh, target page so that's all for today I hope you learned something useful in this lecture thank you so much